Hello, everyone. In this short video, we will go over the three simple challenges in the category of packet analysis. Uh, all of the three challenges can be easily solved using the Wireshark tool. So the first challenge says that there's a packet cap file um, contained in this folder. So um, there are a number of packets related to DNS query response. And we need to figure out what is the server uh, contained in the DNS response. And it looks like flag server.ed. So apparently, the right tool for this would be Wireshark. It has nice support for uh, all the network protocols. So we just need to go over these DNS queries quickly and Immediately, we figure out that the last DNS query, well, the last DNS response, um, has the information that we need. So this can be solved in two seconds. Now, let's look at the second challenge. So the second challenge is also about analyzing a packet capture. And in this scenario, there is an attacker who tries to perform some kind of um, attack or reconnaissance of the network. So we need to figure out the IP address of the attacker. Let's again switch to Cal Linux. So in this case, we will open up the PCAP file. So if we go over all the traces, there are a lot of packets. And if we look at the port numbers, so you can see that uh, this is a very typical port scanning attack because uh, apparently the attacker is trying to scan all the range of the ports of the target. So um, then the only choice left to us to make is that we have to decide who is the attacker. So if we look at these two packets, you can see that this is apparently the first packet related to TCP handshake, three-way handshake, and this is apparently the response. Um, so in this case, 10.204 is the attacker. And this is the right solution for the second challenge. Now, let's look at the next challenge. So this time, uh, we have a packet capture of a recorded HTTPS session. And we need to figure out information contained in the HTTPS request. So the difficult part of this question is that um, apparently HTTPS is protected by encryption. So the question is that what can we do about it? Now, let's navigate to the challenge folder first. So you might notice that we have a packet capture file, but we also have another file called sslkey.log. So this is apparently a like um, a master private key log generated um, by the browser uh, when an HTTPS session is generated. 
So apparently we could attach this information to Wireshark so that Wireshark will be able to take advantage of this key information and uh, decode the packet capture. So how do we feed this information to uh, Wireshark? A simple Google search would get us instructions for doing this. So the basic idea is that uh, we can go ahead to the SSL, which is the secure software layer protocol and provide this information of the master secret key information, which is used to establish the uh, TLS layer. And then once that information is provided, all information can be decrypted apparently. So there are a lot of packages, uh, but uh, we are only interested to socket, uh, secure socket layer related information. And now we have all the information. We just need to look at the HTTP requests. So apparently this is the information that we are looking for. All right, so in general, the packet analysis category is pretty easy and can be tackled successfully or by freshman level students. 